Hi guys, welcome back, hey, another Saturday, another shave, and here we go, the weekend starts here, and then you're looking forward to it like me. If you're new to the channel, please click like and subscribe, if you're a returning viewer, thanks for your continued support. Let's crack on with the shave, you've seen the thumbnail, we're doing a barbershop shave today, um, and we'll start off with a brush. First time using this brush. Where it is, that's the Yaki Freedom. I've had it in there, I've had it for weeks and weeks and well, well probably months actually. But um, only just using it today. There's the coin in its bottom. Yaki, 24 millimeter, synthetic knot. Nice that, isn't it? Nice knot. We'll get that in. The official John Shaves Super Soaker there. The new official John Shaves Super Soaker. We'll get some water in those bristles. Um, so for today, here we go, WSP Barbershop, check that label out guys, they don't do those anymore, when this has run out, and look, can you see the ring of death, we're through to the bottom, the plastic at the bottom, that's only ever, I've got that many soap, I've got thousands of soaps, um, that's only ever happened to me in three cartons, uh, this one, um, Piacenza, that's the second one, that's the second tub of Piacenza and um, PAA's CAD are the only three I've ever had the ring of death. But when this runs out, I'm going to get some of the new Formula T barbershop and put it into this. This tub is going nowhere. There you go. Absolutely wonderful. I put scent strength at about four, but I've had this for about six years. Uh, I bought it from Pasteur's Pharmacy. I don't, don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I've been to... Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York and that's where I bought this. You can see the remnants of the, the little red label there. Uh, there you go. It's at about four. When I got it, it, it was up there. It was seven, but it smells absolutely beautiful. It smells to me like a good old-fashioned soapy um, barbershop scent. Really nice. Looking forward to that. So that's the soap that we're going to be using. Uh, we are going to splash up. Check this out, guys. Goto Diaro. There you go. That's Spanish. Look at this. Looks like a big bottle of gin, doesn't it? Big glass bottle. There's what? 600 mils in there. And this smells like Aqua Department. It smells like Sterling Piacenza. See it there? Which is a dupe of Aqua Department. But this, I mean, that, that stuff is phenomenal. Sterling Piacenza is like eight or nine on the scent strength rate. You open it and it punches you in the face, you know. This, on the other hand, is a little bit more subtle. I'd put this, well, it's about seven or eight out of ten, but it's a much more subtle, uh, mellower scent. But you can tell it's the, it's more or less the same scent that I get. And when I sh went into my daughter and I said, smell that and smell that, did it smell the same to you? She went, absolutely, yeah, they do. So that's what I get from there. And that was something like six pounds, guys. Six pounds and four pounds shipping. So even here, 10 pounds for a big 600 mil of aftershave. Absolutely wonderful. And what we're going to be barming up, there you go. Barbershop Gabri, can you see that? Aftershave cream cologne. Uh, and now this smells like a mixture of Brill Cream and Barbicide. It's got that traditional... 1970s barbershop scent when you walked in and they've been using the barbicide and it mixed in with all the soap it smells really really nice um, and once again when I, I squirted some on my wife and daughter's hands I said what do you think of this they sniffed it and they both said it smells just like a barbershop there you go so that's what we're doing there weapon of choice here we go Ming Shi uh, it's 2000 I forgot I think that's 2000 the Ming Shi, it's a clone, that is a clone of the McClure Future. The McClure Future is here. Can you see that? It says McClure, so I'm going to use my phone camera. But that's the McClure Future, we're not using the McClure Future, we're going to use its clone. That's about £60, that's about £10. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm not materialistic, but I would rather have the £60 one. Uh, this is exceptional, but you can feel it. It's thinner, it's lighter, it feels slightly cheaper quality, but excellent. And that was a gift. 
and a gift I'm ungrateful for because I wanted one. Uh, and from memory, it was a good shaver. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip that off there. We just flip that off. And these are the blades we're going to be using. Persona Reds now. Can you tell me anything about these blades, guys? It says distributed by American Safety Razor Company. Can you see that on the back there? American Safety Razor Company. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's get it open. There you go. Persona Platinum Chrome. There it is. And what we will do is we will put that in there. And then we will put that in there. And then you just press it down. And that's it. And what we'll do, it goes from one to six. It's adjustable. It goes from, can you see the gap? Getting bigger and smaller. The bigger the gap, the more aggressive. What we're going to do, it goes from one to six. So we're going to do... We'll do the first pass on number four, the second pass on number five, if I remember, if I don't, shout at the screen, and the last pass on number six. Um, that's it. I'm going to wet the face, crack on, and have some waffleization. Oh, so, how's it going? How is everybody doing? Here we go. Jackie Freedom. Here you go, let's have a look. You know me, I like to get a load on the brush and create a lather on the face. So, just a, a lovely, thick, creamy paste. There you go, don't let that proto lather go to waste. There you go. We'll see how we go on with that. We'll put that there. Uh, we'll the face. Yeah, I haven't used this. This stuff, I bought this. I went in Pastor's Pharmacy, it was on the sale table and it was the lid that attracted me. But look at this, it smells fantastic. Six years old, guys. Uh, and how long was it sitting in Pastor's? Because they had it on sale. Look at it. You can't fault this, can you? You cannot fault this. Dip the tips, it's a little bit, a little bit dry. So, have you used the new WSP barbershop? If you have, let me know what it's like. If you've used the new one and this one, doubly let me know what it's like. I'd love to, I'd love to know um, how they stack up. I've been using this really sparingly. <laughs> That's why I lost it. I don't want it to run out, you know. But that Formula T from WSP has caught my eye. And I may get the barbershop one and put it in this when this one runs out. Look at that, guys. Sat there six years. You can't argue with that, can you? I will leave that. And I don't remember using these Persona blades either. Here we go. Oh, I'm going getting my COVID boost after filming this on a Friday evening. And I'm going to film it on a Friday evening. And I'm going to upload it and get it ready to go live tomorrow morning. Just in case I feel like death warmed up, you know. I'm having my grandchildren this weekend. I always absolutely love. They're all that I live for. Absolutely love having them. Um, and that's it really. I had that flu jab. And felt like I'd been hit by a freight train. Had the two Covid jabs. Nothing. The first one for about two or three days, every ten, every 10 minutes, well, maybe once an hour, for two or three days afterwards, I would go woozy, it would be stop you, whoa, shake the head, then gone that quick, you know, I mean, that was it, you know, but, uh, 
with the first one, not the second one. Nothing at all with the second one. So I moonwalked it into the doctor's surgery like Michael Jackson. Thinking everything would be okay for the flu job. And it was like being hit by a freight train, it really was. I woke up Saturday morning, I was lying in bed, I've got my eyes sunken into the back of my head. Thinking, oh no. Thing is, you see, with a headache, just there all the time, 24 7, isn't it? There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. There you go, first pass done. Thank you, Lee. I hear Lee all the way from Thailand saying to me, oh, up it, up, up. There you go. We'll put that on five now. You see the little notch there in the five? Here we go. I mean, it's a good razor for the money. I would certainly buy one. I would certainly buy one. But uh, you really can feel the difference in quality when you put it. Uh... But that's no derision, guys. If I was short on cash and this was all I could afford, I'd be more than happy with it. I'm more than happy with it. And I've done that in the past, you know, so I'm not saying anything untoward about it because I have that other one. So please let me know what your shaves of the day are. Hey, and what is it? Because it's a Saturday shave over at the weekend. Your shave of the day, everyone goes, oh, the SOTD this, SOTD that. But here in Johnsville, what does the SO, what's the other SOTD? That's right. Your slurp of the day. Let me know what you're drinking over the weekend. You know what I'm on. And have some jam shed. Uh, I've got some cans, a couple of cans of Guinness in there. I may have a can of Guinness. But I'm not drinking tonight. I'm going for that Covid test. Uh, and I just want to... I'll leave it tonight and see how I feel tomorrow. There you go. It's okay. It's cutting it. I think from memory when I did the comparison. Um, I think it was slight, I think it's slightly less aggressive. But hey, it cuts the hair, doesn't it? It does the job. Here we go. Turn it around. All the way up, right to the top of the shot. Number six. Most aggressive. Look at that blade gap, look. Look at that, you could drive a bus through that. Look at that. Here we go. It's actually quite smooth, you know. This was a gift from Dennis. Dennis, if you're watching, I feel like I know you an apology. I feel really bad. Dennis commented on my last shave. And he said something like, uh, oh, that razor, it's not for me. And I was like, no, me neither. I mean, I like it. It's a good looking razor, but those um, proprietary blades, uh, just make it a normal but I'm glad I've got it and I like it and I'll be keeping it but anyway Dennis left a comment oh that razor not for me and I was like oh me either and then I realised it was him and I, oh, I felt so bad so if you're watching Dennis in Oregon I do apologise I really do I didn't mean it Well, I did mean it, but I didn't mean it in the way it might have came across. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. We'll see. I'm going to do pickups on number six as well. Oh. Before that, here we go. The Lancashire Lean. 
What do you reckon? Hmm. It's not the closest shave, guys. But that may well be the blade. Who knows? With a feather in it. Oh, here we go. We're going to do a fourth pass there. But we've got to get ladder mittens. Yeah, it's the usual suspects here and here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not a great shave. I probably need to try it again. Actually, I wouldn't mind trying it with a Kai blade in it. Because they're actually quite wide, aren't they? There you go. We'll call that. We'll call that. Three passes. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. Oh, man. Yeah. So please let me know what you're up to, what your slope is, what you think of today's shave. I always like feedback. Um, anything you'd like to see in future shaves. Oh, God. I said that. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future shave, let me know. Uh, and I'll do it. And somebody asks for some. Some <laughs> the most outlandish thing you've ever heard in your life. I can't even remember what it was. But I've never ever heard of it at all. Some shaving cream. And I was like, yeah. Okay, cheers for that. Okay, here we go. Go. Gordon's gin. Look. See, big bottle, it's even got a restrictor. Go on. Look at that, eh? Do you know what I do? I'll show you now, right? Do you know what I do? In summer, when I've had a wash, uh, in the morning, before I go to work and what have you, this is what I do, right? This is what this stuff's good for. It smells. Mmm. Yeah. It does. It does. It smells like Sterling Piacenza. I mean, you're getting that much... Sterling Piacenza for six pounds, guys. It's fantastic. Hmm. Anyway, what I do, I rub it in my hair, and uh, you know when you get out of bed, and you have a wash and everything. I used to swill my whole head under the tap. I don't know. And then what I do is I go and put that on, and I use aftershave, and then comb my hair, and it smells nice throughout the day. Let's see. Look. Can you see where I got that from? I mean, yeah, it does. It smells like Sterling Piacenza. Absolutely wonderful. And here we go, Gabri. eBay this, guys. I think it was £6 and free P&P. For all that, there's tons of it. All you need, one little squirt. Or as we call him, Josiah. That's my grandson. And that goes really, really well. And that's our shave, guys. That is our shave. Don't waste any of it. Get all that goodness. Oh. Well, that acts, do you know what? That goes really well together, that. Mmm. That actually does. That is a really good combo. Here we go. Look at this. Smooth. It's a baby's bum. Yep, I know. You're all out there now saying yes, John, and it looks like one as well. I know, I know. Right, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all your comments, all you guys that comment. All the videos all the time, and thumbs up and everything. Thank you. Well, you're great, guys. I enjoy answering your comments. Um, and remember, cold, dark world outside. You be the one that's going to shine some love in a dark corner. And I will see you on Wednesday for the Wednesday shave. Unless my blades come from PAA. The, do you know what's... The, on the post office app, the tracking app, uh, according to the tracking app, they're still at the post office. Which is a good thing, really. Because the post office said they've been delivered. And if they'd been delivered, they'd have been showing on the app as scanned. But, but they're not doing. They're showing as unscanned still at the office. So they may well still come. I don't know what's going on. But there'll be an additional video if I get them blades. I'm going to let the world know. Look after yourselves and I hope we'll see you on Wednesday. Cheers, guys.